Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. We are doing a refrigerator organization and we're going to deep clean it. So basically this is just going to be a super satisfying video. I'm pulling everything out one by one, wiping everything down, I'm going to organize of course like throughout the video with how I put everything in, I'm prepping food. We had a grocery delivery come last night so there's like so many things I can prep out for the week and I'm just so ready to get this done. I've seen requests for this video for a long time. I haven't done one since the old house. So I hope you enjoy this. Like it if you do. Please subscribe if you're new here and let's get started. All right, I know how much you guys love your befores. So here is a very streaky refrigerator. I will wipe it down at the end. There's no point in doing it right now. And here is what we're dealing with. So it's packed in here. We had tons of stuff come last night. Nothing is like ready to go though. There's a ton of sauces. I need to go through all of these. I'm sure some of them aren't even good anymore. And then we have a ton of iced coffee and creamer up there. I need to make sure all of the leftovers are still good. We have like tons of eggs. I need to make sure those are still good. And then I will consolidate since there's like a lot of space being taken up. Let's see what's in here. See what I mean? Like everything is just thrown in here there's no organization this is what this drawer looks like this one i'm going to take all this stuff out of the plastic and wash it and this one is empty here is the freezer this one is the scary one last time i organized the fridge people said hey why didn't you do the freezer so here we go guys we're doing All right guys, so we're working in stages in this video and I'm using this kitchen cleaner I made several weeks ago. It's on my happy home with Alexandra Instagram and I have used this I think every day since I made it. It's a great one. I use it on the countertops on like all hard surfaces essentially and it's a great one for the refrigerator too. So I'm starting to wipe down shelves and then I will add in those first products, how we survive around here, iced coffee and creamer and strawberry lemonade. Those those, several of each of those will be on the top shelf. I used to work where I would like pull every single thing out at the same time, but now that I'm a mom, I don't know what's gonna happen in the next minute. So I was worried things would end up sitting out for too long if I did it that way. And now we're on to the second shelf. The first shelf is all drinks. The second shelf is going to be all dairy. We have a ton of yogurt right now. In the acrylic container, I have the baby yogurts. I'll add in cream cheese behind that. I have three full-size yogurts. And then on the left is going to be sour cream. And next up is the drawer. I call this the cheese drawer. Does everyone call that or call it that or is that just me? That's essentially what we keep in this drawer is cheese, charcuterie meats, lunch meats. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much everything, I guess. So I do have some extra containers from when I've done videos on the pantry and they are a triangle shape for a corner. I'm showing them right here. I haven't really used these for anything because they are smaller than what would fit in the pantry. I'm a huge fan of using what you have so that's what I'm doing with everything in this video is using things I already have that I haven't found a place for and of course I like having new things but we all have random things that we need to find a purpose for every once in a while and it's so satisfying when you finally do so even though these are a little bit awkward shaped they do serve a great purpose in this drawer and they're going to help me separate everything out instead of throwing all of it into one big pile but kind of new, but kind of Tell me you're feeling it too, babe yeah. And love me like yesterday Oh, but kind of new Ooh. Tell me you're feeling it too Ooh. And love me like yesterday
I'm also trying to get snacks ready to go. So since I have so many eggs, as you can see here, three cartons, they aren't full, but still like this is excessive. <laughs> so I'm going to bring a pot of water to a boil in just a minute and get some hard boiled eggs going. I'm going to wash everything. And I know I've said this before, I try to do this, which is the keyword here because we're not perfect, but I always try when we have brand new groceries to wash all the fruits, all of the veggies and get them ready to go because if they're ready to go we're way more likely to eat them and I'm sure that will work for you too citrus in our beverages show only the good sides always pretty smiles are covering our faces you know it is all lies you know it is all lies on and on and on it goes round and round the rodeo breathing out air for a minute taking my time to begin with on and on it's taken me a while to get this video up because since we're planning on upgrading our appliances in a few months I was going to wait for the new refrigerator to film this video but I can film it again if you guys like and show you the new setup and that's why I haven't invested in anything for this one because I don't know if it will fit in the new one so if you guys have any recommendations for any organization in refrigerators write in the comments below for me but for everybody else too I know there's like those fancy containers for fruits and vegetables that keeps them fresh longer and just any other recommenda recommendations you have let me know I think we're going to go with a cafe series like the white appliances with the gold handles and hardware so so many of you have sent me that stuff on Instagram and said it's so me and you are right guys it's like literally exactly what I've had my eye on I had to wash a few dishes real quick so the salad spinner can sit in the sink while I wash a few more produce items, get those organized and in containers to put back in the refrigerator. But first I had to struggle to put those drawers in. I don't know about you, whenever I pull those drawers out, it takes me so long to get them back in. Show only the good sides Always pretty smiles are covering her face You know it is all lies You know it is all lies the hard boiled eggs are done, so I'm going to peel those real quick and then we're going to salad spin the rest of the produce. And all of you who love your Chef Chad segments, this is the one thing he says that he cannot make is hard boiled eggs. So I was making these and he had to finish them since I was doing something with the baby and they were almost impossible for us to peel. We both were struggling so hard, but we made it work. Hard boiled eggs are just such like a great snack to have in your refrigerator and now I'm going to wash all of the grapes, strawberries, raspberries, celery, and then there was fresh dill in there too, and cucumbers. I didn't wash the cucumbers because they were all packaged up already, but I love having fresh dill and cucumber in my fridge at all times in the summer. There's so many like very refreshing ways to use those too. You don't know that many major chords.
So the strawberries and raspberries were just washed. The grapes are washed and ready to go. I'm going to move on to the beets, radish, and carrots. And then we had a huge bag of spinach that was triple washed. So I left that in the bag. And I also have these wire baskets. I'm sure I'll get questions about those. I have two of them that I decided to put in the fridge. And those are from the Target dollar spot a couple of years ago. If you've been with me a long time, then you might remember the hallway closet at the old house. Here's the baskets if you are listening and not watching the full video. Um, and those ones I used to have hats and mittens in. So I love to find organization items I can use anywhere and everywhere because as many of you know, I like to mix things up and change things from time to time. Some fruits and veggies can be left out in the fridge and they will last just fine and others will dry out really quickly. So dill is one of those items. Any herbs, we like to keep them in a quart container. We wash them first like I'm doing right here and then we will wet a sheet or two of paper towel, squeeze it out so it's just slightly damp, put that in the bottom and then have the herbs on top, put a lid on top and it will last so much longer. When you need it, then you can open it and get what you need and put it back. It's so so much easier when you prep stuff like this, you guys. Highly recommend it. I love too that it is like really tall and narrow so I can fit tons of things in one of those drawers. I'm going to wash celery real quick. I'm going to cut off the ends so that way it's ready to go. of the fridge is done. I cannot wait to show you the after. It is so satisfying. I'm obsessed with organization, but I'm obsessed with refrigerator and pantry organization and closets. Okay, I love it all. I lied, I love it all. Do you see me talking because I'm asking Chad what he wants and what he doesn't want? And then we will do the freezer and the freezer is really quick. Now for the freezer and I didn't even know what was in here. I feel like our freezer is either like really, really full or basically empty. It's full whenever I have been to Costco or Trader Joe's recently and I have not been there in a very, very long time. So essentially almost everything, well not everything, but like half of what was in here was for Chad for work. He's working from home a lot right now and he does recipe development. So he goes through a lot of random food items there are several things in here that he said he didn't need anymore so we got those out of there I'm wiping everything down real quick and then I will start putting in what we're keeping one by one and we have a lot of ice packs so that stuff is going to go on the bottom I'm going to do a shelf with fruits and veggies or no fruits I'm doing another shelf with veggies and frozen meats and then I will show you guys everything else during the walkthrough Yesterday. 
The very last thing I'm doing is wiping down the fridge with stainless steel cleaner and now on to a very satisfying after. We already went over those first two shelves, but the basket on this one on the right side is our leftovers. There's pasta noodles in there and then some vegetables that were roasted. Highly recommend having your leftovers in the middle, in the front, so you don't forget about them. I have fresh cut melon in this container, tons of fruits and veggies like you guys saw in those drawers and on that shelf. And then we will go over the door real quick and head over to the freezer. The window shelf in the door has our extra butters and then we're on to condiments that we use the most often. In the top, I put the largest one since this is the largest shelf. So there's salad dressings up there, hot sauce. This one is our favorite one, random for some of you, but we go through so much mustard and barbecue sauce because we do a lot of barbecuing and grilling. We have a smoker. We have a smaller shelf right here. So it's a lot of random items like relishes and then Sprite and apple cider vinegar is on the bottom. We don't really use those very often and yes it's kind of like the forgotten shelf down there things you have on hand but you don't use very often now on to take a peek at the freezer we were able to get rid of so many different things that we didn't need anymore it's not nearly as satisfying looking at the freezer but the fridge is very pretty that's what we all care about right so this is essentially the after all of the dinner stuff is right here and I have this one like semi organized because I feel like the freezer is a revolving door with Chad working at home things are always going in and out of here the very top one though I reserved for super fast food items so like the frozen meals frozen ramen right there from Costco pancakes and waffles were on the other side and then there is a lot of frozen breast milk in our freezer as well that's just the phase of life we're going through right now and that's everything for today's video let me know how i did in the comment section if you're going to reorganize your fridge tag me on instagram i would love to see your picture please give this a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new i link recent videos in the description box and like tons of different things so check that out and i will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video bye